Now that you have wired your IP camera directly to the NIC port on your computer and powered it with a 12 volt 1 amp DC power supply and you have also downloaded the config tool, we can begin this process. Open the config tool. If you don't see your camera located here, hit the refresh button. I can see that the camera is located at address 192.168.164 and that the default gateway is 192.168.11. Open up your control panel and make sure you're viewing by category. Then select network and internet then select Network and Sharing Center, then select Change Adapter Settings. Disable any adapters that you will not be using for this test, and enable the ones that you will be using. Right click on the adapter and select Properties, then select Internet Protocol Version 4 and click Properties. Here, you'll click on the radio button, use the following IP address, and here we're going to match this gateway with our IP address. And then we will enter in the subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. Click OK, close, so I'm going to go to that address, here you'll enter the username and password, admin12345. In the Configuration tab, select System, and then select Maintenance on the top. Here you can click on Default. This will default everything including its IP address. Select OK, and the device will now restart. You may use the Search tool to find its IP address again in about 30 to 40 seconds. Enter the camera and reconfigure it. In order to get access to your network and the internet again, we're going to have to change the settings back to where they were. For most of you, it will be as simple as changing the radio button back to obtain IP address automatically. Click close, and you're all set.